Okay. Yeah, because this is all in your. This is all in the second page. I know, but I I have to. I can only go by mine though. I can't. Oh, I can't. I'm not writing anything. Okay. So let's go and talk about radians, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, so we got the initial and coterminal side, and we understand a circle 360 degrees and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a circle here. And um, what we're going to do is we need to go back through a geometry again and remember some important parts of a circle. First of all, a circle is an equal distance from a set point, which we call our, you know, our center of our circle. And the distance from the center to our circle is, go is what we call our radius. radius. Now, okay, that's our radius. Now, if you guys remember, if you guys ever had a lovely pie day with a teacher, um, I don't know if you ever did this, but one thing we also do is you could take the circle of your radius and take it as a string, and then what you could do is you could take this radius measurement and you could wrap it around the circle, and you'd get a distance about there, all right? Now, what we call, if you take this radius, Think about take the radius, pretend it was like a sticker, and I ripped it off, and then I wrapped it around the circle. It would go about that far, right? Okay. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. So this is what we call one radian. So that length, which we call our arc length, is about one radian. Now, the distance from here to here provides us with a measurement. So that measurement is now going to be our angle theta. And that, like I said, that's our, measure, that's our angle. And so we could say angle of this, which we call our central angle when we talk about our definitions. This is a central angle, an angle that is um, a part of your vertex, of your center of your circle. Well, theta in this example equals one radian. So in this example, that's example of radian equals one. So what about if I took my radius and I doubled it? Radian equals two. So I'd have? Two radians. How do you know what a radian is? Like? The radian is the distance of its radius wrapped around the arc. Well, how, how long wrapped around? How far do you wrap it around? It, it, well, for all circles, it depends. It's all different, right? Yeah, but how do you know, how do you know that it's exactly that, that length? You know what I mean? Like, you, you oh, me? I'm just estimating. I can only do as well as I can do. Um, I'm just estimating the best of my abilities, OK? Um, and then. So about three radians is right about there. Like I said, yeah, I'm not the best. You guys can look in your book, and they have pretty good diagrams of it. Um, also, in the notes I provided with you, right there on that page, it shows you that distance. Yes? Is there a set number of radians in a circle? Uh, we're getting to that. Oh, okay. So let's look at it. When I take my three radians, right? So if I said, what is this angle? You could say, oh, from there to there is you know, two radians. Like that angle is two radians, right? And from here to here, which would be three radians. So three radians means this distance is your radius is around your arc length, but it's also an angle. And that's the measure of your angle that we talk about. All right. So if I say angle of theta is equal to two radians, you know that that angle is from here to here pointed up somewhere in there. Now, I don't know the exact definition. Like I said, guys, I'm estimating the best I can, but you guys at least know that's in the second quadrant, right? You guys can see that? All right, so here's where, here's where we get into our lovely pi that we were talking about. So you guys can see we have one radian, two radian, three radians. Does three radians make half a circle? Yeah. No, it almost does, but we need to add a little bit more. Does anybody know what that little extra skim off the top is? Yeah, 0.14159 dot, dot, dot. So halfway around the circle is where we get our answer pi. Yes? So for quadrants, that's like if you drew a graph in the middle of your circle where the radians would fall. Right. If we're going to look into quadrants, we could pretend these are your x and y axes. So this would be quadrant 1, that's quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Yes? How do you know it's pi and not like a bigger number? Like, What if there was extra room left over? Like, Wouldn't that be more than pi? Yes. But that's the way we get our number pi. And that's that number that they estimated to get exactly halfway around a circle is where pi came from. That's how we get pi. That's what the number pi is. The number of pi is the number of radians it takes to get halfway around your circle. That is pi. That's what's been approximated for pi. That's what pi comes from. That's why we have pi. Is that why the circumference of the circle is 2 pi? Add into it. 
Right. Because if you guys look at the radians, let's look at it. Three radians, four radians, five radians, six radians. Well, now we got a little bit more space, right? So it's six radians. Well, what's two pi? It would be about 6.28, right? And that's roughly going to be that instance. So yes, when you ask about the circumference of a circle, its circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, right? Well, in the circles that we're going to be talking about in this course, we're primarily going to be mostly dealing with circles that are going to have a radius of 1. That means my circumference in this example is just going to be 2 pi. All right, so I'm going to say the length of my circle or the length of my radius is going to be 1. So therefore, I can say the distance from here to here, halfway around a circle, is pi. And the distance from here all the way around a circle is 2 pi. So when I say, when I'm now talking about um, supplementary angles, and I don't want to talk about 180 degrees, what other number could I use? Pi, right? Because pi is a halfway around a circle, which is equivalent to 180 degrees. And rather than talking about 360 degrees, I can now begin to start talking about 2 pi. So that's kind of the difference. And we're, I mean, I have a lot more to, more to discuss. But that's kind of where those differences come in. Does that make a little sense, at least with what a radian is? No. Is 2 no, radians, is that 2 over pi or pi over 2? It's just 2 radians is just 2. I, I'm going to get to more of the homework stuff. But I just want you guys to understand, 2 radians is just 2. It's just the number 2. We're dealing with just in radians. But you guys said no. So what was your clarification? What's your question on there? You said um, no. Whatever. If you have a question, then just ask it. I'm not following. I, when, whenever you start talking about I, I'm looking at OK. Well, you understand here's 3, right? Yeah. To get to here to here is a little bit more of a decimal, right? It's not a whole number. Yeah. It's not 4, or it's not 3. So it's a decimal. Well, it, the decimal approximation is 3.14159. So that's a, so 0.4159 is how much of more of a radius we need to get to get to this point. I don't know what the whole number is, but they've, back in the day, they were able to approximate to get halfway around a circle takes 3.14159 dot 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 radians to do half, to complete half of a circle. That means you wrap your radiuses around your arc lengths and it's going to take 3.14159 radians to go halfway around a circle. Okay. So, so pi is the number of radians it takes to get? Halfway around a circle, or exactly. Degrees. Or 180 degrees. So pi is the number of radians it takes to get halfway around a circle. Very well, yes. That can be explained. Yes? So is that why when you're converting from radians to degrees, it's pi over 180 and 180? Because they're the same thing, right? Okay. It's like multiplying 5 over 5, but one's in a different, one's in a different unit, though. Right, one's in radians, one's in degrees, but it's the same, it's the same distance or same angle, right? Okay. So I told you guys I was just 